Here we are in front of a painting by Handy Warhol called Diamond Dust Shoes. Uh, you can see mo uh, a lot of shoes with diamond dust behind, and this passion for shoes was born because of a mother, his mother, who was passionate and transmitted this passion to, the, to her son. And mostly, uh, starting at the beginning of the 50s, uh, Andy Warhol was an illustrator and started to draw some uh, shoes for Vogue or Harper's Basin magazine. And he started to be quite famous because of this. And this passion for shoes will continue for all his career. And uh, for example, this series started in uh, 1980 uh, on an idea about, uh, of uh, Mr. Aston, who is a shoe designer. One day, his boyfriend sent uh, a shoe box uh, or shoe boxes uh, to Handy Warhol, who find them fabulous. So he decided to place them on a white paper on the floor and mix with his own collection and starting to do some Polaroids. This Polaroids is the way Andy Rowell was composing his painting and uh, serigraphy. So after making this Polaroids, uh, uh, Andy Rowell decided to go and see his printer who who de developed a new technique. He was using diamond dust in an industrial way uh, and uh, use it on different of his own serigraphy. But Andy Rowell didn't like the result, so he decided to make uh, a new to spray this diamond dust on the serigraphy, who gave this glamour and this richness of the painting, who, which is actually a total have a total sense with uh, Handy Warhol, uh, critical way of uh, thinking, meaning uh, to critique the mass production society, uh, which is in pop art industry at the moment, but. This series was also inspired by the night of the Studio 54, which was a big dis it was a big disco during, this, uh, during the 80s. He was going out with different stars and different actors, singers, who, which he, we made, he made uh, their portraits. So um, all this glamour, this uh, dust and these uh, uh, glitters inspired a lot, but at the same time, is showing is uh, mass production critics through it.